It's been quite a while since we've seen each other. Welcome to Vlogmas 2023. Roll the intro. So, let me see. Hmm. I just don't know if I should sit down and chat with you guys here. Let me, let me put you down somewhere so I can just sit and talk for a hot second. So here we are. By here, I mean my office. Vlogmas 2023, we're doing it. What is Vlogmas for me? Great question, I'm so glad you asked. So I'm going to be vlogging every day from December 1st to December 25th, which is Christmas for anybody who celebrates. Anyway, so, <laughs> as you guys have seen, my last video was my Prados Beauty giveaway. And then before that, we did, I think it was the, hmm, what remodel was it? God, was that the bathroom, barely? So I'm gonna make an incredibly long story short. As you've seen, we have, well I have, an entire like home renovation playlist on my channel. So, we have done so much work to this house, like, I'm not exaggerating and this is not meant to make anybody who is not in our position feel bad if you can't do this, but basically the house as it stands today on the inside looks so much different than it did when we moved in four years ago. Even a year ago, <laughs> it looks so different. Because there is so much home renovation content that I am behind on, I am either going to intermix the renovation videos in as Vlogmas days, or it is going to be the first like few days of Vlogmas. So I'm recording this today, which is November 30th. So Friday, tomorrow, Vlogmas is going to start. So I think mm, mukbangs are really easy for me to do. So I might do that for day one, just to kind of like sit, catch you guys up on my life and what's been going on. And then starting on Saturday through the rest of Vlogmas, kind of get cracking on those home renovation videos. Because here's the thing, if you don't know me, I am the queen of recording and not posting content. So I have so much stuff not just like of home renovation content, content across the board. My drafts on TikTok, I used to have 30 drafts, just chilling. I think I've gotten it down to like 10 or 12 now, so I'm doing much better. Is part of that because I have no more memory on my cell phone? Maybe, but I'm also just in general trying to post the content and just get it out there instead of just sitting on it. That's where we're at today. Welcome back. I hope you have a great holiday season and yeah. Let the vlogs begin, everybody. I'm so excited. Excuse me. Excuse me. The pretzel boy. <laughs> Are you excited for vlogmas? You don't care? Say no. Leave me alone. Hello, welcome to my bed. Please, well, look. The lighting, not great. I know that. But that's why it pays to have a good camera, because at least it looks not terrible, but it's just not as high of quality as if I had my studio lights, which are currently in my shed. I need to go into my office closet. I will explain. So everybody grab a nice little beverage, you know, we're going to sit and have a quick little chat and get you updated. So cheers. What am I having? I'm so glad you asked. First things first, this is my The Chismosa Club cup from Soli Luna Homegirls. This design I specifically requested, it's on her Etsy shop, so go buy it. And if you can leave a note, tell her I sent you because this is my everyday cup. Anyway, what do I have? <laughs> it is cranberry pomegranate juice and soda water with a little, a spritzeroni of lime. I had to sleep with a heating pad the other night on my back. I don't know what happened to me. I used to be up until, well, let's see, let's go back even further. I used to work at two restaurants and a Dunkin' all while I was in college. And I would be at work from 4.30 in the morning until midnight. And I did that every day for like months on end. How? I don't know. I can't even be bothered to get up before 8 a.m. It's like the worst thing in the world to me. But anyway, here we are. So I'm trying to develop more of a nighttime routine because I've been having trouble sleeping lately. I don't think that's an old thing. I think that's a uh, just maybe it's a mentally ill thing. I don't know. At any rate, we're here. So I do find that I don't know if this is like there's science behind it because I went to college for watching movies, not for science. I found that having 
tart cherry juice before bed does help me sleep a little bit better and I've been out for a while I need to get to Albuquerque to go to Trader Joe's my god I'm just I'm really I have no of the like you know the crispy jalapeno pieces completely out I don't have any tart cherry juice I just need to restock on all my stuff but no one asked for that story but there it is so here's what has happened I did fact check myself in between this morning when I was recording and right now the last home renovation video I put up was in fact our guest bathroom remodel which that happened <laughs> that was happening last December and as you may have seen in that video if you watched it that did not get completed until January the guest bathroom it's done now it's stunning I love it so much take a bath every single week anyway so since then we have had our contractor come back to work on one well two technically our master suite but it's two bedrooms uh, bar, our bar and the dining room so we've had four more <laughs> home renovation things so those will be some days of vlogmas I've decided honestly I'm sure if I really wanted to I could stretch it out and do like a whole week of just home renovation vlogmas type stuff but I will spare you that because I, I don't like to do renovations and parts. I thought I was going to have to do that when we did our kitchen remodel. But it finally got done. So anyway, I could bitch about that all day. That's, let's just leave that as it may. So I'm going to level with you guys. Last Vlogmas, I think I got like five days in. And then I just, I didn't have it in me last year. So I just quit doing it. Because I don't make any money off of YouTube right now I'm purely doing this for my own enjoyment and for the like 10 people who look forward to these videos hey thank you I just kind of let it die and left it and I've got to say <laughs> that it it was fine you know my life kept going and it's whatever also to just be completely transparent this year when I think back to like January until now which is obviously 2023 this year has been so challenging in ways that I never thought imaginable. And I don't want it to sound like I'm just trying to be a negative Nance, but although, yes, there have been some of the highest highs of this year, I have also experienced some of the lowest depths that I have in arguably my entire life. I think really this year from probably like February, March, I want to say, until maybe like May or June, just crushed me so much. And now, thankfully, I'm better. I also just want to say this initially, because I have been speaking about it or made content about it on my other platforms, because I don't post on YouTube, one, particularly often, but two, uh, <laughs> regularly. I just want to make it abundantly clear. First things first, free Palestine. That is my stance. So that's number one. Number two, I would encourage you to educate yourself on what's going on because it is important to see the hard parts of reality of what is happening in Palestine right now. This is not to center me in what's going on. However, I just want to give context that additionally, with anything like personal that I had going on earlier in the year and with all this happening now there is a good to fair chance that there will be days that are not going to be particularly fun and also that it does feel like it's very difficult to know a lot of what's happening because I see it in on my uh, TikTok specifically my for you page I see so many troubling things pretty much every day and I don't want to just turn it off because the people of Gaza can't just turn it off you know they they don't get to just out of sight out of mind what's happening I don't know that it'll come up in my vlogmas videos but I just want to clarify that that's my stance on it so if you ever have a question I'm setting the record now that that is how I feel and I will continue to be talking about and posting about things like that more so on my other social media platforms but if anybody was <laughs> curious I don't I don't know that you are but just just so everyone's aware 
that's how I feel about it. So if I do mention anything, that's what it is. And also, um, if it doesn't come up, I don't want it to seem like I'm just trying to, you know, live my life and not act like that's happening because it is and I'm very much aware of that. Now that we've got some housekeeping stuff out of the way, and I think I've rambled for quite a bit. So we have spent the better part of this year renovating our house. That's really like the biggest thing. And you'll see through all those videos that there have been many a change that have happened in our house. Uh, we're still here. This is our master bedroom now. We're back in here. I honestly as well might just do a, a complete uh, I had a completely new house tour with all the renovations that have been done because it, it's a lot I'm very proud of our house I'm very happy to be here we're very lucky to have a home as I said when we bought the house it is not lost on me what owning and having this home means and we're very I'm very lucky and grateful to have this space thank you guys for watching you can like and comment subscribe down below I will be here every day every single day am I gonna put a time on this no because Honestly, I don't know that I can commit to a set time for this, but I will be here every day until Christmas, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye! Do you want to say bye? No? You're too cozy. That's okay. I won't uncover you.